It's been a beautiful day today, sunny and clear skies, but temperatures have definitely been on more of the warmer side. Thank you for tuning in. I am weather forecaster Chris Guevara. Now, these temperatures have been sitting in those upper 80s. We're only reaching a high of 88 today, but our record has 96 degrees. Now, as we move into our current temperatures, they're still on a little bit of the warmer side. 84 in Indianapolis, 85 here in Muncie, you folks up in Kokomo, you guys are sitting at 84 degrees. Now looking at current radar, for most of the day today, we've been relatively dry. And radar kind of pretty much tells the story. Our whole viewing area has been pretty much clear of any systems and pretty much free of a lot of clouds leading to a lot of these blue skies we've been having today. Now looking into uh, future, uh, looking into more of the radar, now we have the stationary front that's giving us a lot of our clearer conditions, but just off to the southwest near Texas, we're getting a lot more of this heavier rain showers from the stationary front. Now moving into precision cast, we are definitely going to be seeing mostly pretty much dry conditions. Now tomorrow around the morning time, clouds slowly start to impact our area, bringing us, most, bringing us partly sunny conditions. And this is going to last all the way from Thursday into Friday into Friday night. Mostly clouds are going to be impacting, bringing us partly sunny conditions. Now, for our jet stream, this is our upper level winds. This is what moves our weather systems, but this also can give us an indication of either cooler air masses or warmer air masses moving in our area. A dip in our jet stream, also known as a trough, as we can see right here near Colorado, is giving us more of the cooler air from the north. Now as this trough starts, air, uh, starts moving a little bit more eastward, hitting the mountain states, they're going to be a little bit more below average temperatures. But for us over here in Muncie, we're going to be sitting not, not below average, but sitting more on the more comfortable side of fall light conditions. Eventually, this jet stream starts taking more of a zonal flow instead of a meteorological flow, so we're not getting so much more of those troughs. Now, this is kind of leading into our temperature trend where we start getting to the cooler temperatures, but over the weekend, we slowly start increasing back up into the warmer temperatures in those low to mid 80s. So for tonight, we're definitely looking at temperatures still on the warm side, 83 degrees, moving all the way over down to 1 a.m., dropping down into those upper 60s. Now tomorrow, it's gonna be a little bit more on the cooler side, 74 degrees, partly sunny conditions, more of those clouds start moving in. Now, as we start moving into a seven day forecast, we're looking at lows in the uh, lows in the mid to lower 70s for Thursday and Friday. Now moving into our weekend, we have a few chances of some scattered showers on Saturday. Temperatures slowly start moving back up into the 80s before they start dropping back down into the 70s starting next week, bringing mostly sunny conditions before Wednesday. They top back out to 80 degrees. If you guys have any more questions, please follow us on NLI Water on Twitter.